welcome everyone this is sumedha indian yoga girl today we are going to do one hour of power vinyasa yoga so get ready we need two blocks if you have if not that's also fine let's come settle down into any comfortable sitting position table sitting position rolling your shoulders back and down lifting the spine up trying to settle down settle down into the thoughts settle down into our body leaving everything aside everything aside work family food any other thoughts focusing just on to the breath and the body let the shoulders be soft spine be straight longer deeper smoother breaths in and out feel the breath as you inhale through the back of the throat kind of a victorious breath and as you exhale bringing the right ear towards the right side of the shoulder let the neck be little stretch by the sides the left side dropping the right ear towards the right side of the shoulder inhale come back to the center as you exhale to the other side inhale come back to the center and slowly come on all fours from there coming into a table top position pressing your fingertips as you inhale lift your chin up chest up look up exhale rounding your spine pressing the fingertips the shin bones down inhale look up chin up chest up exhale around the spine inhale soft belly in lifting your chin chest up exhale round the spine come back to the neutral spine position as you inhale raise the right hand and the left leg straight up inhale lift exhale little down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down two more times inhale exhale inhale stretch the arms and the legs exhale hands and the knees down change the legs change the sides inhale raising the left hand and the right leg back exhale tap a bit inhale for two exhale inhale for 3 exhale 4 down 5 and slowly bring the knees and the hands down tuck the toes lift the knees little bit up as a paper sliding weight squeeze the core here the hands are kind of straight it is just the knees little bit up to the ground and then as you exhale slowly come to the downward facing dog maybe walk the hands little bit away pedal your knees up and down down and up let the head be relaxed let the legs be relaxed heels trying to come down towards the ground look in between both of your hands and slowly walk in between both of your hands The legs are hip width distance apart holding your opposite elbows and swaying side to side. Finger tips from the tips coming down and one vertebra by one vertebra slowly make your way to come back up. Inhale finger tips rising up all the way towards the ceiling. Index finger coming out stretching the spine. 
As you exhale, bring the hands to the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, to the other side. Inhale, come back to the center. And slowly open your chest. Let the spine go in all that direction. Open up, lifting the chest. And as you exhale to halfway, the hands are straight close towards the ears. Let the table top the flat back here. Feel the spine, feel the inner legs. Inner legs needs to be strong here. And slowly bring the index finger towards the right side. Come back. As you exhale to the left side. Slowly come back and bring the hands down. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands and walk the legs back to high plank. From the high plank, very slowly with the counts of 10, we are coming all the way, the stomach is coming down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Completely down here. Inhale, lift the hands, lift the leg, lift the chest up. You are onto the lower stomach, lifting the legs, lifting the hands, finding a balance, focusing onto the lower backs and the buttocks. And as you exhale, place the hands, slowly coming into a cobra pose, Bhujangasana, lifting the chest up. Press the hands, make your way to come to upward facing dog, tucking the back of the toes, lifting the chest up. As you exhale to the downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Engage both of the legs, the hips are kind of square. Exhale, knees to the nose. Inhale, raise the right leg again all the way up. Exhale, knees to the nose and drop the leg in between both of your hands. If, those, if you have a block, please have those blocks in front. If not, that's also fine. Then slowly placing your hands onto the thighs and coming back to a high crescent lunge, raising the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Back of the heels are up, the knees and the ankles are in one line. The hands are close towards your ears. Inhale. Open up your chest here. As you exhale, bring the hands down. Bring the legs straight. Maybe the blocks coming close towards your calf muscles to have a stretch onto the hamstrings and slowly come forward. Feel that hamstring, let the body comes down. Surrender here. Breathe in, breathe out. Bending your knees, placing that block forward, bring the back of your leg forward into a forward fold. Dhanasana. Bring the hands from the sides, inhale, raise both the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands, walk your legs back to high plank. From the high plank, we are going to low plank. Completely down onto the stomach. Inhale, lift the chest, legs, hands up. Like you are swimming. Exhale, place the hands, bring the elbows close towards your chest, lifting the chest up into a cobra, then tucking the toes, coming into upward facing dog. And to the downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. 
Exhale, knees to the nose. Inhale, raise the left leg all the way up. Exhale, knees to the nose. And drop the leg in between both of your hands. Fingertips coming onto the thighs. Once you are stable, inhale, fingertips coming all the way up towards the ceiling. Maybe open your chest. Feel that crescent lunge in you. And slowly as you exhale, circle, sweep your arms, bring the hands down. Bring both of the legs straight, maybe the toes a little bit pointing up toward the front toe. And dropping your head down. Bend, bend your front knee, walk the fingertips, bring the back of your leg forward into the forward hold. Circle sweep your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the hands close to the heart center. Into the Starasana mountain pose. We'll be chanting one Om to incorporate our starting of the practice. Taking a deep breath in, closing the eyes. Slowly open your eyes, bend your knees, coming into a chair pose, raising both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Look down here, inhale, if you're looking down the knees are not crossing the toes, they are going back, tucking the tailbone inside, the hands can be up or if it is hurting maybe towards the shoulder whip or maybe all the way up, inhale, as you exhale forward fold, inhale halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place your hands, jump back or walk back to high plank. From the high plank, we are going to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to upward facing dog, scooping your chest, looking up. Exhale to the downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the right leg in between both of your hands to a high crescent lunge. From the high crescent lunge, bring the right hand back, right hand back, left hand straight, open up your shoulders, twist your spine, open the shoulders, feel onto the middle back. The front of the knees are still bending, engaging both of the legs and the hands. Inhale, raise the front hand all the way up into an exalted warrior. As you exhale, bring back of the foot 45 degree like a warrior to pose. Open up the arms. The heels onto the heels. Both of the legs are into equally distributed. The hands are to the shoulder width. Your focus, your drishti, your gaze is in the middle finger of your front hand. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly change the palms, bring the palms forward as you exhale to a reverse warrior here. Right hand coming all the way, left hand can be down or towards the sides. Feel that stretch from the sides. The front knee is still bending. You are expanding your hair by this reverse warrior. As you exhale, slowly coming into a side angle, right hand going all the way down or maybe onto the thighs, left hand is up or maybe close towards your ears, wherever you feel more comfortable. The knees are still bent. Feel the legs, feel the burning of the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Your focus, Drishti, is up 
on towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring both of the hands down, slightly bend the knees, send the right leg all the way up to the three-legged dog, to the three-legged high plank, to low plank, upward facing dog, to the downward facing dog. Take one or two deep breaths here. Inhale, raise the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the nose. Inhale, raise the left leg all the way up. Exhale, knees to the nose. And then softly drop the leg in between both of your hands. Inhale to high crescent lunge. Circle sweep your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, left hand going all the way back. Open up your shoulders. The right hand is kind of straight. You are looking towards the back. Back of your thumb. The front knee is still folded. Feel the opening of the shoulders, twisting of the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you exhale, right hand coming all the way up into the exalted warrior. Find the balance in you. Maybe looking at one point. And from there, slowly turn your back of your foot 45 degree angle, making your way to come to a warrior two stance. The heels onto the heels, open the legs, the hands are into the same shoulder width. Slowly bring the hands forward, turn the palms and come to a reverse warrior. The right hand can be straight, can be down or can be towards the sides. Slowly coming into a side angle. Again, the elbows can be down, the right hand can be up, or maybe the hands coming down. So, you can sweep your hands down, shift the weight, coming into a three legged dog, raising your left leg all the way up. Come to the high plank, low plank, upward facing dog to the downward facing dog. Look in between both of your hands. Walk in between or jump in between. If you are jumping, you are bending the knees, coming forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, come back to the chair pose where we have started. From the chair pose, we are pulsing here, pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale all the way, straight legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands, walk back, jump back. From high plank, do the low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the right triceps. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale to the left triceps. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale, bring the leg in between both of your hands. Make your way to come to a high crescent lunge. Inhale, raise the spine up. Exhale, right hand back, twist. Open up your shoulders. 
Inhale, front hand is coming all the way into the exalted warrior. Exhale to the warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale to a reverse warrior. Inhale to a side angle. Exhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. Slowly inhale, bring hands down. Exhale, right leg going all the way up to a three-legged dog. To high plank, to low plank, to upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the left elbows or the triceps. Inhale, raise the leg up. Exhale to the left triceps to the right. From the left to right now. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, place the leg in between both of your hands. Coming back to a high crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the spine a little bit up. Exhale, left hand going back, right hand coming forward. Inhale, right hand going all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale to the warrior two legs and warrior two hands. Inhale, flip the palms. Exhale to a reverse warrior. Feel the flow here moving. Bring the hands down, coming into the side angle. And then place the hands down, finishing up your vinyasa. Sending your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. High plank, low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look in between both of your hands, bend your knees, come forward, inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the hands into the prayer position. Take one or two deep breaths here. We'll be doing one more time. Again, bend your knees, inhale, come back to the chair pose, raising the fingertips up. Here, we are lifting our heels up. We are lifting the heels up, sitting a little bit more down, hands are more straight, maybe close to the shoulders or maybe up. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands, walk back or jump back to the high plank. From the high plank, we are going to the low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. I'll go a little back so that you can able to see. Upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the right triceps, the right knee to the right triceps. Inhale, raise the leg up. Exhale to the left triceps. Inhale, raise the right leg all the way up. Exhale, bring the right leg in between. Come back to the high crescent lunge. Fingertips coming all the way up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right hand going back, left hand straight. Inhale, raise the left arm up, bringing the left arm all the way up to the exalted warrior. Exhale to the warrior two here. Feel the legs, feel the warrior inside you. Inhale, flip the palms. Exhale to the reverse warrior. Slowly come towards the side angle, right hand going down, left hand coming up. 
and then placing the hands down, sending the leg up to a three-legged dog, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog to the downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the nose. Inhale, raise the leg up. Towards the left triceps. Inhale, raise the leg up. To the left triceps, to the right. Right. Triceps, left knee, inhale, raise the leg up. Exhale to a crescent lunge, placing the leg in between, making your way to come all the way up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, send the left arm back, right arm straight to a crescent lunge here. Not the crescent lunge, open up your shoulders. Inhale to an exalted warrior. Reverse. Exhale to a warrior two. Change the palms, inhale towards the reverse warrior. Exhale to side angle here. Place the hands down, send the leg back. Inhale, raise the left leg all the way up. Then high plank, low plank, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Two breaths. Bend the knees. Bring the hands back. Come to a child's pose. A little break here. Maybe a water break, a sip of water. Or maybe into the child's pose. Completely relax the arms. Completely relax the body. Maybe incorporating that Ujjayi breath and Oceanic breath. Slowly come back again on all fours, pressing your hands down in a tabletop position. Tuck the back of the toes, press the fingers and make your way to come to the downward facing dog. From the downward facing dog, walk your legs in between both of your hands. Place the right fingers in between the both of the legs. Inhale, raise the left arm all the way up. As you exhale, place the hands, the left hand down, the right hand coming all the way up. Slowly bend your knees, bring both of the hands down. From there, knees are still bent, back of the hand, you're placing the hands onto the back, interlocking the fingers, let the knuckles come up. Feel the shoulders, let the head be soft. The knuckles going towards the left and right, opening your shoulders side to side. From there, bringing the hands, fingertips down and one vertebra by one vertebra, slowly making your way to come back up. Bring the legs maybe together again. Make your way to come to a chair pose, low chair pose. Inhale, fingertips rising up all the way towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the hands to a prayer position, Namaskara Mudra. Bring the right elbow towards the left side. Twist your body. Press the hands. Let the hands come in between your chest center. Maybe look up. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now slowly look towards the toes. 
look towards the toes very gently lift the right leg up right heels up if you are stable send the right leg completely straight toes are lifting up right back lift completely straight and then right leg going back like a um you know twisted chair pose again the hands are still the same you can look all the way up beautiful again bring the drishti focus onto the toes make the left leg stronger lift the back of your leg up lift the back of your leg up and losing that balance and then slowly dropping completely bringing the legs together in this twisted chair pose beautiful bringing the fingertips down inhale raising from the tips all the way up as you exhale bring the hands back into lock the fingers from the back lift the chest up let the knuckles go down as you exhale let the knuckles come up forward fold leave the fingers bring the fingers down again come to a chair pose inhale fingertips rising up exhale place the hands in a prayer position close towards the chest this time twist the left elbow towards the right side twisting into the prayer position let the palms comes in between the heart center open up open up open up twist once you have a deep twist then look down bring the weight onto the right leg very slowly lift the left leg all the way up once the leg is up drop the toes down open up into the twisting prayer position lunge then again look down put the weight on to the right leg make the left leg straight bring it together then slowly come back inhale all the way up straight legs beautiful inhale fingertips rising up towards the ceiling exhale bend the right leg place the right leg straight exhale send the right leg back in a aeroplane kind of a pose now where are we flying next bending your knees inhale come back lift the knees coming close towards the navel making the legs straight exhale again to the aeroplane pose warrior 3 the chest is rising up engaging that muscles inhale again one more time the knees towards coming to the navel raising the fingertips up exhale straight leg back hands are back look forward at one point then slowly drop the toes back inhale bring the legs back of the legs towards 45 degree angle like a warrior one inhale raise the hands up exhale to the warrior two inhale to a reverse warrior exhale to a side angle from the side angle straighten up your front leg coming into a triangle pose we call it as a trikonasana the straight leg from the front bring the fingertips up place the hands both of the hands forward shift the weight onto the toes the heels coming up kind of a pyramid pose maybe lower up the little stance inhale look forward exhale place the head on towards the shin bones of the left maybe the back of the heels are coming down as well beautiful 
bend your front knee, place the hands, send the left leg all the way back to a three-legged dog. From the three-legged dog, bend your knees, open up your hips, ankle rotation here, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, place the leg down. Look in between both of your hands. Jump back or walk back in between both of your hands. Inhale, come back to a chair pose, raising your fingertips all the way up. Exhale, sending your arms back, lifting the heels up. Inhale, dropping the heels, fingertips coming up. Two more times as you exhale, the left hands going back, heels up. Exhale, fingertips rising up. Hands back, focusing on the toes, tippy toes, heels rising up. Inhale to a chair pose. From the chair pose, slowly straighten up the legs, hands are down. As you inhale, raise the left knee all the way up towards the navel. Once you are balanced, then sending the left leg back into the airplane, airplane pose, warrior three legs. Inhale, bending your knees, raising the fingertips up. Exhale, sending the arms back, lifting the leg up. Inhale one more time. Exhale, send the arms back, legs back. Then drop the toes back, back of the leg 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one hands. Two warrior two hands. Changing the palms to the reverse warrior. To the side angle. Once you reach the side angle, straighten up your front leg. Straighten up your front leg to make your way to a triangle pose. You can use those blocks. And make your hands equally distributed by rising up and going down. Then placing the fingertips towards the front of the mat. Bringing the back of the heels up. Maybe reducing a little gap. Then coming into a pyramid pose. Dropping your head down. Bend your front knee. Place the hands. Lift the right leg all the way up to a three-legged dog. Bend your knees. Stack your hips, the right hip onto the left. Ankle rotation here, clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale to the downward facing dog. Stretch your body in this downward facing dog. Feel the shoulders. Let the heels come even more down. Then slowly look in between. Maybe jump, maybe walk in front of your mat. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward fold. Circle sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale. Bring the hands down. From there, open up your legs to three to four feet distance towards the right or left. The toes are inside, the heels are outside. Hands are close towards the waist. Open up your chest. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly come forward down. 
the hands can be this time on towards holding the big toes from the two piece fingers maybe on to the calf muscles maybe on to the heels wherever you feel more comfortable and natural slowly by slowly placing the head down intense bite leg stretch stay over there let you relax let all the blood flow comes on to the crown of the head let the upper body be soft the legs be little more active and then slowly place the hands lift the chest up halfway walk your legs a little bit more closer place the hands on to the waist and come all the way up from all the way up we are bringing the legs little closer inhale bring the hands towards the shoulder width and slowly like a squat like slowly coming sitting down slowly coming sitting down once we reach here bring the elbows inside press the hands bring the elbows from the thighs inside of the thighs open up your hips let the spine be straight if this is kind of wobbly and the heels are up it's okay if the it is at all wobbly please use those blocks to sit comfortably here otherwise these are the great pose we call it as a yogic malasana great for the knees great for achilles tendons heels great for all kinds of walking hiking deep breaths in longer breaths out few breaths and then slowly come sit down here so from the sitting down we are coming into a gaumukhasana we call this as a cow facing shape left knee down right leg on top of it make sure you are sitting on, on both of the buttocks the heels are away once you are comfortable here we are coming into eagle arms the left hand first then the right down coming into the eagle arms inhale lifting the elbows all the way up creating that space from the back of the shoulders great for the people who types are into it and any kind of the hand position even the driving the cook lifting the elbows up away from you breathe in breathe out and softly bring the elbows down making your spine as a round c shape inhale come back to the center and wrap the hands and change the legs right leg down left leg on top of it heels away try to sit both of the sitting bones if the body is one side try to sit on both sides here take a deep breath in visualize the body navel be in the center and then right hand first left hand down coming into an eagle shaped arms lifting the elbows all the way up feel how one side of shoulder was so different and the other breathing in breathing out then unwrap your hands bring the legs straight open the legs as wide as possible open the legs as wide as possible bring the right hand towards the right shin or maybe down as you inhale raise the left arm all the way up you can be here you can be becoming even more down holding the leg or maybe bringing the body down as well wherever you feel more comfortable just stay feel the stretch lengthen it up sthiram sukhasana this is that the asana should be sthiram 
you are holding that position and it should be stable it should be happy feeling you are not over stretching it as well inhale come back change the sides the left elbow is coming down inhale raising the right arm up closing towards the ears maybe here maybe even more deeper maybe holding maybe twisting wherever you feel it when you are feeling it you are doing it breathe in breathe out inhale come back to the center this time we are coming little forward walk the hands as if you are crawling you are walking straight head is the last thing which you need to drop the chin and the head is still up it is the spine which are going down please make sure your toes are pointing towards you the you are engaging those hamstrings walking the fingers away from you let the chest the stomach falls down wherever you feel the stretch just stay over there connect with your hamstrings connect with the spine connect with the shoulders deep breath in longer breaths out deep breath in longer breaths out and then slowly walk your fingertips towards you once you come back up very slowly place the hands underneath your thighs gently bend and then lie down coming back into the constructive rest position elbows coming down body coming one vertebra by one vertebra down relax the spine first push a little bit onto that sacrum that triangle shaped bony shape on the lower back reduce the gap of the middle back squeeze the navel a little bit in tuck the tailbone inside let the shoulders be soft pressing your fingertips pressing your legs and slowly making your way to come into a bridge pose setu ban sarvang asana lifting your stomach your sacrum up we are doing either two bridge pose or one bridge and one wheel pose so do it appropriately whatever feels more natural either two bridges or one bridge one wheel pose as you exhale slowly come down completely relax here and prepare yourself either for the same bridge pose or maybe a wheel pose If it is a wheel pose, you are placing your hands onto the back, pressing your inner legs first, lifting the buttocks up the same way as the bridge pose, pressing the hands, and then press and slowly come onto the head. No need to come higher; just stay over there. If you are here, well and good. If you think you can come a little bit more up, press the hands and then lift the chest up. Lift the chest up. Lift. Straighten up your arms. stay over there or maybe a bridge pose squeeze the glutes we come into the same family breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and then slowly as you exhale one vertebra by one vertebra drop from the head from the spine then the lower back beautiful everyone bringing the knees close towards the chest into a pavan muktasana we call it as a wind relieving pose hugging yourself here hugging them tight the thighs going towards the stomach making your digestive system even working better beautiful for the constipation beautiful for any stomach related issues as well rocking side to side bringing the hands into an aeroplane like a straight hands into a T shape bring both of the knees towards the left side twisting your spine
inhale come back change bring both of the knees towards the left side to the right now slowly come back to the center bring the knees together here heels away here we are focusing on the inner legs this is little tough if the knees are going away press with the hands think that the both knees are kind of a glue heels are going away it is focus on the navel we are working on the navel inner legs making the inner legs strong knees are together like a glue it works because it is little bit on to the inner legs sometimes it takes an effort to join the legs because we mostly do outwards not inwards so stay for 10 9 8 7 6 
placing them on towards your eyes in a cup shape relaxing reducing the pressure from the back of the eyes massaging your face with fingertips and slowly going down looking towards your palms thank you so much for watching and sharing your beautiful energies with me if you enjoy this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date in all our new yoga and workout classes see you thank you so much namaste